Hi! This is my review of the Terminator RPG Quick Start Part 2. This is a follow-up to the included scenario in the first Quick Start. If you haven't seen my review of that one, please check out the playlist in the description below. And before we begin, just a heads up, this is going to contain spoilers. This review is for game masters or game directors only, so please keep that in mind. Let's talk about the quality of the PDF. The quality is great. Everything is well written and explained. Just like the first quick start, the graphic design is the same, it has this metallic sheen to it, this uh, futuristic look. You have a couple of simple illustrations. It doesn't have bookmarks, but the document is fairly short, only 12 pages long. So overall the quality is good. Now I'm going to give you an overview of the scenario and I'm going to tell you what I think about this scenario at the end. So the mission is pretty straightforward but it is as off rails as you can think. So this is great for an advanced game master or game director but if you have just started to play role playing games with the Terminator quick start, the first quick start. I recommend that you read through the entire scenario a couple of times and try to imagine all of the ways in which the players can take on the mission because this scenario is truly quite freeform. It has a certain sandbox quality to it. It's very subtle but it's there. There are also a lot of tips and advice on how to handle this scenario as a follow-up to the quick start, for example if several characters died in the first scenario that is two steps back, you can bring back those characters into the action. It's basically an alternate timeline solution. The characters that died in the first scenario will appear in this scenario as different versions that come from a parallel universe, a parallel timeline rather. So this is somewhat Deus Ex Machina in order to get everyone into the same scenario, but it works because this quick start is supposed to serve as a tutorial. Although like I said, this is truly an advanced scenario when compared to the sequence of events in the first one. They also give you some tips on how to use this scenario with the complete Terminator RPG manual and there are even details on how to use this quick start with an ongoing campaign. So the scenario starts with the characters being teleported. You may remember if you played the first scenario that the player characters reach this time displacement equipment. So they manage to travel back in time with a mission to assassinate a scientist from Cyberdyne. This scientist is potentially one of the parents of Skynet. His name is Bertram Hollister but things are not going to be that easy. Terminators, specifically T-700, have also been sent back in time to protect this scientist. And the player characters need to secure a safe house, gear, weapons and clothing of course. So this is where the scenario becomes quite freeform. It's up to the player characters to use the little information that they have gathered so far to find out where this scientist is working, where he is at, where he is living. They need to plan if they want to kill him or assassinate him while he is at the office, at what time. Perhaps they want to kill him when he is at home. But they also have to deal with these terminators. Two of them are quite straightforward. They serve as the muscle, so to speak, of this terminator unit. But the Terminator known as My Neighbor is a specialized unit that will harass and stalk the characters throughout the entire scenario unless they deal with it right away. Depending on how the characters act, this scenario could take a bit of time. Perhaps they want to trick or convince some non-player characters working in the same office as this scientist to let them inside the office at certain time, perhaps they want to bribe them or perhaps they threaten them. They could handle this in many ways. Or they could just go in guns blazing when they think it's appropriate. 
but a direct confrontation with the Terminator unit will surely result in the characters dying immediately. These are T-700 models, they are not easy to defeat, and depending on how things go or proceed, even if the characters manage to kill this scientist, there is a possibility that one or more of the Terminators will take the corpse for some unknown purpose. I think that a good idea if you want to continue this scenario, or rather continue with a scenario connected directly to the situations that have unfolded, would be to turn this dead scientist into a cyborg. Perhaps that's how this character survives and Skynet comes to fruition, or exists as the player characters know it in their particular time. So what do I think of this quick start part 2 for the Terminator RPG? I think this is a great scenario. I am impressed with the sense of freedom and how things can proceed in a variety of ways. There are also different battlefields depending on the events. Perhaps you will fight in the office at home, that is the scientist's home, on the streets of LA. I also like how the Terminators harass or threaten the characters in different ways. How this my neighbor Terminator could attack them even in their safe house. It's a perfect Terminator to use as a hit and run enemy. Perhaps it makes its appearance, it takes a few shots at the characters, perhaps manages to kill one of the player characters and then disappears without a trace. He could be quite the dreadful presence throughout the entire scenario and beyond if the player characters do not destroy him in this situation. I also like the level of detail, perhaps the player characters will never find out about this, but the director will surely enjoy the details of the Terminator's skin, how it's rotting away, and they need to prepare this sort of bacterial bath to renew their skin. They also have all of their gear with them in a living flesh bag of sorts, because that's the way how they could transport that inorganic matter into the past, covering it with that flesh. And like I said, even though the player characters may never find out about these details, if they get really curious about the Terminators, perhaps they will also discover this unnerving information. So I highly recommend that you get the Quick Start Part 2 if you want to follow up the scenario from the first Quick Start, but if you have already planned a very different situation, well, this is going to be just a good option, because it's quite affordable. You will find the link to this Quick Start Part 2 in the description. I would also recommend that you take advantage to use this Quick Start Part 2 with the complete Terminator RPG core book, because they even tell you how you can handle some situations such as chases using the complete rules. They are not strictly necessary, but it's nice to know that this scenario supports the use of the complete rules. Thank you for watching this review. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. In the next video, we are going to start taking a look at the core rulebook of the Terminator RPG. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending right through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.